I'm gonna. I got a round of golf with uh, Mason, so I'm gonna take off. All right, dude. See you um, manana time. I we might we might stop by the upright if it's still going down. Okay. Yeah, we're at the upright lounge tonight, dude. I'm waiting from home. Yeah. You're not gonna want. You might want to do that. Work, work from, from home. home. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So long, Brandon. Thank you, sir. Hey guys. So. All right. <laughs> Are you sleepy, Chris? I like to. No, I got a second win. Uh, yeah, I think I stayed like ten minutes longer. Let's oh, okay. So, all right. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Hey, everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for tuning in to our hour of primetime guitar live. What in the world's going on over the there? Cleaning. Cleaning? That hardly ever happens. Did you yell at anybody to clean? I know I didn't. So uh, we are on day four of Build a Classic Guitar Woodworking Workshop, which is, of course, Chris. Our favorite class. Yeah. Yes. I, I'm not sure what else you want me to well, say. Well, it's, 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 it is our premier offering where you start with blocks of wood mm -hmm. and in five days miraculously turn them into either a classic electric guitar that like uh, from the Fender factory or from the Gibson factory um, or something that you just kind of freestyle and make your own. Mm -hmm. So we yeah, a little bit of both of those things. We did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we've had, we had a bunch of guests before, but we have a bunch of guests now here in the shop. And yeah. later on tonight, we're uh, everybody in the workshop and a bunch of people who are friends of ours and people who have been through workshops before um, are going to, we're all going to go out to, to have, to have steaks. Mm -hmm. Are you still getting the kids hot dog? Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm going to get that hangover sandwich. And, and, tater tots. <laughs> and we're also, we're all going out for, for a nice meal and we're all going over to uh, Jim and Leslie's for, uh, to the upright lounge for, Upright lounging. Upright lounging. So we've got an hour of stuff to talk with you guys about and hang out with you. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, uh, so I, I did not get a chance to watch Ike and the guys from Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. They uh, uh, Ike did come by the shop today, though, mm -hmm. and uh, and he hung out with us for a while. And, you know, Ike comes by and like, hey, I need a case. Hey, I need some strings. Hey, I need this out of the other. And all the guys kind of go, hey, Ike, I need all this stuff. And then he shows up and then what happens is normally he will come and then, oh, you know what? We forgot all this other stuff. So then Ike will come back again. So this will be, he's actually coming back tomorrow. And it's really nice to have the guys at Flipside Music be so responsive to everyone in the workshops because yep. like, hey, I need a TSA case for something or I need a whatever it is. Yep. And uh, so Ike gets you guys set up and he lives right down the street from us. So he comes over and it's not too big of a deal. And we try to keep him in beer and candy and cigarettes and other stuff that he yeah. can trade at the commissary. And yeah. So, um, and then of course, after us, uh, Dylan and Leslie McCurchy go on for their hour of primetime guitar live. Dylan, I don't know if I told you, but we have three guys have already signed up for the, uh, what is it? Build an ultimate, ultimate guitar build with Dylan, where you, Build the guitar, wine pickups, paint, set up, assembly, put it together, and rock out all in five days. Dylan's coming out to help us with that. There are still spaces available for next month, but we've got um, uh, three spots are already taken for the first one in 2023. So that's cool. Cool. Good. Um, yeah. So yeah. it's excellent. I'm 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 a little bit today was a little easier than yesterday for me. Slap you around. <laughs> How was how was your day for um it was good. They're 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 um they're they seem to be getting slightly longer, like Monday flew by. Monday whipped right by uh, yeah. Tuesday, you know, and, and today, yeah, it was I was almost overwhelmed this morning with, yeah. with it seemed like there was just a ton of little things to do to get everybody 
close to the same. Yeah, point. yeah all the little yeah. holes, the jack holes, and and holes to connect pickup uh -huh. cavities, and this, yeah. that, and the others. Yeah, and, yeah. I had a list of holes over on the uh, bulletin board. Yep, they're still somebody, up there. Yeah, somebody changed some of them. Now I want you to know that I do not write in lowercase letters so that was not that sounds like something i would write uh -huh. but that was yeah, not it does, me it does yeah but anyway so, uh we we're all it's it's funny because this class and maybe because it's because we have eight guys instead of six mm -hmm. it seems like we have way more varying projects this yeah. time yeah and i think it's only because there's more guys um and so so there's different yeah different things and different uh approaches to to a bunch of the guitars so and we want to show off everybody's project up to this point today yeah. just like we've been doing all mm -hmm. week long right so yeah yeah so i'll get out of the way or i'll get out of the way yeah it doesn't sound like a thing and uh yeah we'll okay. uh we'll get everybody up here and, and you can talk to them what are you gonna are you looking forward to uh to steak night Yes, okay. I am very, very much. How would you, okay, are you looking forward to going to Jim and Leslie's? Yes, I'm going okay. to bartend this evening. Are you really? Do you know how to? What is it? A pink squirrel? Have a you figured out how to make a pink I'll squirrel? I'll it on my way over Just there. Just make anything and I'll say ask, it's a pink squirrel, and then I don't, I don't know how if, to make a pink squirrel. Okay, yeah. On the on the drive over. Let me. Do you know what a pink squirrel even is? Oh, okay. So you would know if Chris tried to jive yeah. you. I'd still drink it, but but you would know. Hey man, this ain't no, this ain't even pink. The correct answer it's is brown. This is the best pink squirrel yeah. I ever had. This just tastes like a shot of John night. Daniels. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Here you go. All right. Do you think that happens at like, you know, those like tent bars that pop up at Sturgis oh, for the big yeah. bike rally? Uh -huh. Like, you know, I'll have a gin and tonic. Here's your here's your Jim Beam, or what? Or here's your whatever it is. I was yeah. in Vegas one time and. Uh, Somebody went up to the, the bartender and asked him to make a drink. And he obviously didn't know what it was. And he just made something and handed it to him. And they drank it and they're like, this isn't it. That's the way we make them in Vegas. <laughs> that was the answer. <laughs> That's the way we make them here. So we make them at the Upright Lounge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. That could be a thing. And he was, yeah, big and tough enough looking that you weren't going to argue with You weren't going to show your ass. You at the, a little yeah. old school. Yeah. Plus, they've got the eye in the sky yeah, and those yeah, big guys with a go. bunch of rings that come yeah. out. And, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay yeah. cool yep all right well all so right, uh so wait so who's coming up first and am i just gonna sit here and vamp no who's gonna come up first yeah so what we want to do is we want to show off everybody's project and um uh and talk to everybody get their impressions of the no fourth be nervous. day it all looks right. like it's gonna be ben, it's gonna be ben. Austin ben. Not, mike. not mike mike's way over yonder Jealous, Matt. You, you actually almost finished his neck already. So. Here's what I got. Well, yeah. So, so, um, okay. So, everybody, this is Ben, and we, uh, you've seen Ben a little bit in the last Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and here he is again on Thursday. Now, look at all the work. Now, some people might be going, Well, it doesn't look very different, but well, it's way different. Oh, it is. Like, yeah. We went from a bunch of blocks of woods in a dream to this so show everybody tell everybody what you did today uh, so today one. we uh drilled in uh for the bridge uh got uh, uh wiring uh channel in for the um from the bridge uh, for ground okay did a lot of work on the neck you did uh, frets today we did frets uh we did uh dots side dots side uh, -huh. dots. uh we did some shaping uh we cut the headstock down to uh thickness yep uh, got my volute going okay um yeah, lots of fun on the uh, deadhead sander and a lot of sanding. Yeah, yeah. So, so everybody's body is sanded to like what two twenty? You think? Uh, I think we did one fifty. One fifty. Okay. So, um, so I want everybody to know that today is an auspicious day because I didn't call Ben Mike. I'll, no, that's not it. That's, that's not, not true. true. Um, no, we are past the point where you can cut fingers off with power tools. You can still sand them off. Like if you really, really tried really hard with sand. But yeah, so everybody ha has all the fingers they came with, yeah. right? Good ones again, challenge accepted. Yeah, no one has any holes they didn't come with. So good job, everybody. Yeah, don't try to sand your hand. So, so, um, so, what do you think so far? But you said something very, very cool yesterday, and that is that it's remarkable that what what did you say? Do you remember? I mean, I say a lot of cool shit. But I, know. I think what you you do you I really think do. What you're to is that. Uh, Came in here with essentially zero woodworking experience whatsoever. Yeah, um, 
I've seen tools. Yeah, I've I know. Some. <laughs> I've been to Home Depot. <laughs> I've, I've done a little maybe home DIY. Thing. Okay, I yeah. I can use a hammer. Okay. But having essentially zero woodworking experience and being able to come in here and be presented with blocks of wood. Yeah. And ending up with something that looks this freaking awesome. All of your friends are going to go, uh, so who made that neck? They're, they're already saying that. I've been sending them pictures. Yeah. They're going nuts. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got photo evidence of you doing all this stuff. And, and I, I always say that, that the neck day is when you guys stop being eighth grade shop shop kids and you become guitar builders. Cause the new doing the neck is yeah. And we've got two or three more hours of neck and then we're going to glue that thing in and it's going to be a, it's going to be a real live guitar, man. Yeah, so it feels pretty good right now. Does it? Okay. Before it was a box. Yeah. Yeah. And it was just it, a great big yeah, chunk. And now it feels like it's a neck. It's got a lot of work to do. It's okay. A lot of work to do, but it, it feels good. I love it, man. And it's, it's really looking great too. Well, thank you, Ben. Thank you. Awesome, man. So yeah. So guys, you can just come out here and like I said, show up with a block. Well, you don't show up with nothing. Um, you know, leopard speedo and a million dollar smile and we'll give you some some chunks of uh, lumber and you turn them into really cool guitars so some of our um whoever's coming up come on up um some of our other workshops you don't necessarily do all this stuff but you get to do other things too like for example if you come to one of the dylan's classes you get to wine pickups with dylan and um man careful with that headstock that yeah. thing looks dangerous i said bernie rico would be proud of that earlier this week and <laughs> I, I stand by that Hi, Zed. How are you, sir? Doing great. This is awesome. I, I'm having a lot of fun watching the first fretless bass we've ever done come to life. Sweet. Have you ever played uh, much fretless? Uh, I've done, yeah, some fretless work, Okay. but um, I don't really have a good fretless at my house right now. Cool. Why I'm building this. Awesome, man. I love it. I, I don't play fretless either. That's why my bases only have seven frets. <laughs> people are like is oh. that for all the cool fretless stuff you no, because because i only i never go past yeah. that stuff. well there's no money past the fifth fret. that's right baby that's right so what have what have you been working on today um well, pressed in frets yeah oh yeah <laughs> did fret, did fret work um uh -huh. did side dots i have a dot for each of the frets so i know where to put my so you customized in. your dot locations on uh, how did you how did what, what was your, your rationale for dots here um, well, so that I know where to put my fingers at. But you, I'm but you did them a little different than normally, uh, right? You like so you put the yeah, you put the dots where the frets would go. Correct, not in the center. Not in the, the middle. It's it's where your finger needs to go. Because if play. you put the if you put your finger in the where the where the dot normally is, you yeah, would be lower be a low a, no, a, yeah, a lower note a than quarter yeah. tone lower. Yes, but yeah, um, got all. Um, got the back of the neck radius. You got, yeah, you got that, so that going. Yeah. Roughed out at least. It uh -huh. needs some little bit of more work. We got, we got, well, like I said, I was telling uh, Ben, we got about two or three more hours tomorrow. And are you going to uh, bolt the neck in or set the neck? I uh, know. I just want to see. It. <laughs> no, I'm going to glue the neck in. Okay. I, that neck. I think that's cool, man. You know, yeah. 10 cents worth of glue is, is, uh, it, it's way cheaper than, than, uh, 10 or $15 with the hardware and chrome plates and stuff. Sure. And then you can kind of do something cool with the, the, your, um, to sculpt it in your to heel the, to the heel. Yeah. Rather than having that block right there. Hey, and this looks really good here. We were talking about where you, uh, where you did your, um, uh, contours and, and they, they rounded over. That looks great, man. It looks yeah. really awesome. All, all by hand. All by hand. That's true. It really was all by hand. So you got you got body sanding all done today. And, Correct. Yeah. Yes. It, I've actually sanded down to 220. Oh, cool. Okay. So you're an overachiever. Yep. Way more so than Ben. Okay, <laughs> cool. All right. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you. So, yeah. So, um, so like I was saying, guys, if you come to one of our, um, our other classes, sometimes parts are already done. Like, uh, like necks are, are a little bit, uh, further along than before, or, or you get to paint in some of the other ones, or you get to, you know, put things together and, and assemble and, and intonate and set up and all that stuff. So, we have uh, lots of different workshops for every different, um, certainly every different skill level and every different, uh, like what you want to make. So like even next year, we have a neck through class. And I think it would be awesome if Anthony came out and replicated this in neck through form next year. Yeah. 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 Nice. Anthony, how in the world are you, sir? I'm good. This is this is looking awesome. I, I got to tell you, I didn't think you were. I, I'm like, he's not going to finish. I told Chris last night. I'm like, ah, he ain't. No, I didn't. 
But yeah. um, so show everybody what you because you've got you've got a lot going on here. Well, I just want to thank Matt and Chris for helping out because I know I threw a couple of curveballs and stuff. You threw a couple. Stuff. You threw, yeah. And I have trouble with the curve. Two. So, uh, again, uh, two two J pickups. I love this body shape, by the by. And then I'm going to do a Delano, which is like a humbucker. And then I'm going to have. It looks like through. a wacky mod, mid modern sound hole. Yeah, I was telling Doc today, it kind of almost reminds me of a Kusa Sonic Fender. Uh huh. You know, just, you know, but. Uh, or Rick um, Turner. So output jack, I'm going to have a, a toggle switch so I can do uh, rear coil, front coil, and um, parallel series, depending on how, how I want to do that. Okay. Uh, you know what I would do if this were mine? I'd just turn everything all the way up. Just dime everything. Yeah. 11, yep. Yep. And then, I'm like I said, I'm losing, using that lucid hand uh, uh, preamp. So, Ooh, um, cool. So, uh, What are you going to power that with, senor? Well, that's what it, some stuff I've been throwing at them is uh, 18-volt. Uh, battery compartment we put in today so had a chris had to make me a little template today so i appreciate that and then uh i did the um string through for the ferrules yep. and i'm ready for that looks good and then how about the neck where where are we with that we just we i mean we were you and i were just yeah, working on this I, i've been holding everybody up to, you know this that's week, not true that's not true i like to tease you about it but it's not really true <laughs> so sad's been the one holding everybody up so okay. today um you know i, I put in the uh, frets uh, -huh. uh the fret dots and then we uh did the ang angle on the uh headstock and and i just need to do a little bit or in about 20 or 30 years i'll have this whole yeah out. the more you play it the yeah. better it's gonna yeah. feel yeah so 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 if if you uh you saw you saw um ben's and he he uh worked and worked and worked a little bit longer because he was a little bit ahead and so he got his plus his next mahogany you guys have maple necks and maple is way harder than mahogany. So plus your necks are longer. So, and that's just genetics, yeah. but um, uh, the, 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 so show everybody here. So this is, this is what it kind of looks like. And tomorrow we're going to get it all smooth and streamlined. And it's going to be, it's going to look like a gen, the genuine article. And obviously all this pokey stuff here will be gone, but yeah, um, it's going to, we're, we're going to make it into a real live guitar neck. And I think people sometimes go, well, I, I've never made a neck. How am I going to do that? But it's 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 easy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to do two things. Uh, I want to thank Ike for dropping off. The hey, case. yeah, Andy, and, Andy uh, Ike Evangelo. Yep, yeah. and then uh, also Steve came by from Maximum Guitar Works. That's right. So uh, Steve from Maximum Guitar Works came by, and that was cool because everybody here this week was using Steve's templates. So you guys got a chance to give him a bunch of live feedback um, about uh, what what he could do differently, what, what he should continue to do and stuff like that. So you, you talked with him about maybe a custom set or. Yeah. yeah I think I'm going to buy his, uh, what he has online now. And okay. Then, uh, we'll probably work with him and some custom stuff. Remember if you come to one of these workshops, you get a discount on Steve's templates too. So I'll send you that code again. I know I sent it to you guys and you lost it, especially you there. So um, anyway, the um, I was talking with Steve today and you know, I got, I actually got an email from, Eric at Stuart McDonald on Monday and he wants to talk to me about something. And I'm like, I don't have that anymore. And, and you know, there, I, I sent something to them about five or six years ago and they're just now getting around to being able to do something with it. And I'm like, you know, Steve, you and I, and all you guys who come to these workshops are really on the bleeding edge of what's happening with kind of, guys who are wanting to make their own stuff and Stu Mac is, is a great resource, but they want to sell you what they have. And you guys are all like, no, I want this other neat stuff. And they can't always respond because they're a great big company. Well, Steve and Chris and myself can. And, and so it's neat for you guys to come, but well, it's neat for me to have you guys come here and go, I want to make this. I want to do a neck through class. I want to do a base with, you know, three pickups and a dual, dual battery box and neck through it. I, so it's a really it's really neat to be where I am as a as a guitar builder to have you guys come in and show me what you want and tell me what you want to do as guitar builders yeah, too. So. Even binding in the pickup channels and the binding the pickup channel. Yeah, any, anytime you can bind something that no one will yeah. see, it's a good thing to do. So, so yeah, I appreciate it. And, yeah, and also, Steve gave the uh, uh, oils that I had to wear. Oh, oil that's right. Oil. Can I get Steve's oil? Uh, someone hand me those when when you get a moment. And so, we, so we can let everyone know Steve's oils are in. So did anybody else order Steve, Steve's oil? Did he bring you some, Brian? Okay, yeah, he he he'll, he probably would just send them to you. Oh, God bless you, sir. 
So anyway, Steve's Oils from Maximum Guitar Works. I have I have the old school one. Yeah, so this is the collector's item. I have this one. And the new one is it's just the label's just a little shinier. So yeah. So guys, if you've ordered oils from Steve at Maximum Guitar Works, they are ready to ship, I think. And look, I'll put them I'll put them in the uh, the thing here so you you can see what they're going to look like. Okay. All right. Awesome. All right, my well, we have to product placement. We have to move it. All right, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Anthony. Um, wow. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm at a I, for the first time ever. I'm at a loss for words. So I'm gonna talk about why I'm how I'm at a loss for words while Mike breezes on in here like King Casual with quite possibly the wildest upside down SG shape I've it's ever seen. Head. Mike, how are you, sir? I'm good. So tell everybody what you are into here. So uh, I'm a lefty. Uh huh. Besides things being impossible to find or yeah, to flip yourself. I kind of like unique stuff. So uh, I have so bright down so they can see a little better. The modern headstock on an SG, which I don't think they've ever done before. I, yeah, I think of all the headstocks I've seen on SG shapes, I've never seen a modern. Now I'm not saying that's wrong. Because I personally think it's really cool. And the Modern is one of my favorite head, uh, my favorite guitar shapes of all time. I got my little pro point for any of the guitarists in the audience who see it where they're like, why isn't that two dots? It's so you have to double check it. Oh, another minute at my guitar. because you do have 24 frets. Okay, cool. Oh, I, got, I got my own cheat. I got mine correct. Ah, yes. Okay, cool. So tell everyone what you did today, senor. Uh, so... Like everyone, uh, I did get to own the two twenty, but that's because I love sanding. So. Okay, yeah, you were you were working it. I put my headphones on and zone out. Uh, we took care of the neck angles. I'm gonna try and keep it together. Okay. Uh, the volute. Uh, yeah, we, we got, got that started. Today. Yep, yep. Uh, I, we managed to get mine sanded down and pretty much finished for tomorrow. Uh, the frets are all in. Mm -hmm. I learned how much easier frets were than I thought they were. Gonna how be. what 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 was the what was the what was the next level? issue for frets what what would you think it was going to be I, I just you know what it's it's because especially we did binding and stuff i thought it was going to be harder but you just you measure them you, you tip the nangs and you push it's them a, it ain't no thing right I mean, people do it you're a person why can't you yeah yeah, yeah. You, you tip the nangs tip, tip the nangs it's a long day brother jimmy got here a little while ago so we're all having mm -hmm. time. yep that's right jim jam jimmy is here and uh uh we're 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 there's a great big bottle of vodka that I'm positive is going to be gone tequila. by tomorrow. Oh, for mercy's good. sakes. Plus, this gummy's a thick one. I think we did inch and a half. Oh, that's right. You made it a little thick. Well, how, how's come you did that? I think I wanted to do a side jack, but I just bust out. And oh, okay. OG with the All right, cool. So now you got a, uh, yeah, you got a, a slightly heavier SG. That, that ain't no thing. Plus, we did. I really like how this came out with our. Uh, show, show, show it off in the uh, in the camera. We'll show it off tomorrow, too. Yeah, we'll but, show it tomorrow. But it's basically the reveal. You guys showed us how to do it. Yeah, you left a little bit of fretboard showing and then bound. So there's a little, a little like uh, you got mahogany and rosewood and then binding. It looks, it looks like a million dollars. It really pops a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Far out, man. And that's my project. Nice job, Mike. I think it's going to be really cool. You're going to be, uh, by noon tomorrow, we're going to get that thing glued up. Then we're going to go to Valenti's and then, or some, I don't know where we're going to, and then, um, and then we're going to come back. We'll sand it down and you'll be ready for paint because you're sticking around yep. to paint it, right? Yep. Awesome. Excellent. Cool, man. Well, very, very cool. Thanks, Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Thanks for hanging out. And don't forget, everybody, we will have a reveal tomorrow of everyone's finished guitar. That they're they're really close to to being finished right now, um, so the reveal is going to be we're kind of this is like a cheat reveal for everyone who can't um, uh, um, come on up, brother. For everyone who can't be here with us tomorrow, I don't know what your problem is, but yeah. Um, hey, how are you man, doing, man? Sam, great, man. Far, this is one of the greatest. Uh, That's guitar. right. You are you are the dustiest of anybody who's been yeah, up man. here. I uh, didn't have time to blow myself off before the stream started. Always okay. So, uh, All right. Yeah. So how are you doing, Ben? Great. A little dusty, but uh, you're a little I'm dusty. Feeling but... awesome about the guitar, man. So you said something about this that I thought was very very cool. Yeah. Uh, either yesterday, last night, or or this morning. What what was it? Yeah, it was yesterday, and it's that um, I I didn't know what to expect coming here um, for like. What, if we would have to stick to templates, which uh -huh. would be cool. There's a lot of really cool templates We've got to work bunch, off yeah. of here. Um, 
the fit all templates are really useful. We used a ton of those on here, but I kind of had like the, the wildest dreams guitar uh -huh. in my head, just as far as like the look and the carve and all of this stuff. And that's what I got to make here. So do you, and so this, this is, this, this is, we're, we're pretty close to your dream guitar. Yeah. It's that's like, cool, man. It's, super rad it's because exactly, i thought your dream guitar yeah. was gonna be a seven string fan fret active pickup hollow body neck through well you know drink headless dreams change yeah. over time right <laughs> this is what i'm feeling right now um got the aspirational 24th fret up here for when i actually get good at guitar yeah 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 you know? i if, if it was me you're really uh, yeah. those first three are those I'm, gonna get worn i'm gonna out. stay down here in my comfort zone i usually. would too dude um but yeah man i am so stoked with how this is coming out um Headstock looks cool with yep. uh, with this shape and the angled headstock. That's really neat. Yeah, Actually, and then I like we that got, a lot. We got these like uh, logarithmic scale dot markers going here. I thought Don't you just got them all me. like goofed up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and um, no, you and I actually took a um, took a, a, a steel rod and bent it so that it had an angle in right. it that was, or, or I'm sorry, a curve that was smooth. And then you marked it, and we we so yeah, yeah, we, and then just centered them up and put dots in. That was a that was a great idea. I think it looks really great, man. It yeah. looks super super cool. What really what kind of pickups are you gonna load in there? Uh, they're really them. metal ones. They're uh, they're rails, you know. Um, oh, Wes Houck signatures. Okay, yeah. If that name means anything, to you anybody. know it doesn't, sir. Yeah, he's yeah. metal. Not to me. I'm sure there's right. like metal guys watching it. Yeah, there's some guys. guys. They know. They yeah. know Wes. Um, but yeah, I know uh, Wes Montgomery. Does he play those? I don't know him. Okay. Yeah. See. <laughs> yep. How smart or how dumb you are depends on where you're sitting. Or yep. how young you are. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> what was the those the line from Smoking the Bandit? Never mind. Um, so so you've got your uh, your full size drawing. I hear your mom's gonna let you put that up on the refrigerator. Yeah, man. Uh first time ever. I'm gonna get anything on the refrigerator. So awesome, never been dude. Prouder. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Outstanding. Cool. All well, right, yeah, senior. Appreciate it, man. Outstanding, my friend. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. What's the big carve. idea with yeah. this? Yeah. So this is just an arm carve that uh, makes it so I keep my guitar kind of medium height, like uh -huh. right around here. So I have a, a belly cut there and a comfort arm carve that just really makes it like you can get right on the bridge mm -hmm. and move it around in a really easy kind of way. He's been um, running around doing that all day. He's been like pantomiming. Yeah, I've been, yeah. I've been <laughs> right. And then, uh, yeah, yes. getting this line was like a big deal. I spent yeah, most yeah, it of the looks day great, man. Getting that line, it looks I, terrific. So why is there mahogany showing through the uh, forearm contour? You know, the you same can, reason the headstock's upside down and the and the dots are on the right. bottom. You can Just blame Ibanez for all of it. Metal. Yeah. It's metal. That's it's, it's yeah. metal. Yeah, exactly. Because the top is only a quarter of an inch. Thick. Oh, does someone right. want to know yeah, what? As you carve through <laughs> the top, you end up in the mahogany. right. Exactly. So it just you know. Exactly flat piece of wood and there you go and that was a feature you actually wanted the mahogany to show through right yeah okay. right because you get sort of like if you're into the design you get these lines that are sort of continuing and aiming mm -hmm. in the same direction i wonder what it's going to look like with paint and when will i get to find out sir uh well i'm sticking around for saturday cool and we're going to see if we can do like a cool taped off like make the mahogany opaque okay and then get a burst on the maple cool that's gonna yeah. be neat all right yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, like Absolutely. I said, all right, are cool. going to happen. It's it's gonna be you dream will guitar. get your yeah. dream guitar. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so well, Ben, it looks really terrific, man. Thanks Appreciate for hanging it. out with us. Appreciate it. All right, all right. Who 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 haven't we got besides Doug and and uh, Brian and uh, Doc, Doc? Yeah, come on, guys, don't stand on ceremony. Don't make don't make me don't make me vamp here. Get someone really talkative up here. All right, here we go. Yeah, I guess talk to the guy who talks the least. Oh. We're going to have a, a contest who well, talks the least, you or Chris. The smartest guy up right now. Oh, so, God. All I wouldn't go right. <laughs> Hi, Don. How are you doing? Buddy? I'm great, sir. How are you? I am having a wonderful day. So you and I you and I had a bunch of trials and tribulations yesterday, and we burned yeah. right through them, and we, we, made, we managed to get through the other side, and uh, – it looks like a million dollars, sir. I, I like to think of them as learning opportunities. They are. Um, and yeah, we pushed through and I'll be really honest, I kind of like it better. Hmm. Um, okay. But yeah. Cool. Things are great. We're not going to tell you guys what. Yeah. No, no, no. And it was actually, it was all me. I, I, 
I will be happy to fuck up your guitar for you um, uh, whenever you want. So, yeah, you should come out for that. <laughs> for that. For that. So, um, so because it's rare. It's not rare. So anyway, so Don, so, tell us what's going on. All here. right. So we have a uh, yeah, essentially my take on a on a double cut telly. Um, we have a incredible top. Really know, nice top. Yeah. Where, if you got them from. Uh, um, Dan at uh, at Tonewood at Experts. Tonewood Experts. That's yeah. right. That's um, right. Fantastic stuff. Like top notch. Um, beautiful chunk of mahogany on the back. Um, and today was all about uh, was all about the neck. Yeah. So we really, did really frets. Was. And frets. Uh, now you've been here and done frets before. I have. Um, and you've been here. We did side dots and frets and stuff. Yes. And and yeah. And then we started shaping next. We got bodies sanded and yeah. they look, they look great. Yep. 220 on the body. Mm -hmm. um, the neck needs a little bit of a uh, little bit of loving tomorrow. Um, and you're, are you going to work in the heel area a little bit? Yeah. That, that like needs, in, in smoothing it. That needs I don't know what be, this, uh, this isn't the universal sign for in smoothing, but yeah. Or is it going to be lower here? How's it going to work? Um, we're going to, we're going to kind of taper this off just a little bit. Okay. And we're going to bring, this angle here up a little bit so that it's a little bit closer. Okay, um, cool. But you know, to be determined. Yeah, I man. You go full Bruce Clay on that. Full Bruce Clay. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I, I, I mean, I don't do the wheelie wheelie stuff anyway. So. No, well, Bruce Clay was the uh, master luthier Bruce Clay, and that's the way he used to do them. He would, he would grind. I don't know if you can. can he, he would oh, grind. Yeah. He would grind this way down for uh, for lots more access so he did a thing called the bolt-on conversion where he would take your fender style guitar and he would he would basically glue the neck in and then and then uh smooth up the heel area so you had a lot more access yeah. and when he was making uh his guitars he would that's the way he would do them he would start with like a it wasn't like he would he wouldn't start with a fender neck he would start with a, a fender style neck that he would make so it was was an inch thick and then he would he would blend it in. There's one right up there if you want to see it. But yeah, right. and very similar to what uh, to what you and I did. Yeah, um, you know. But yeah, I mean, today was great. Cool man. We had uh, we had a lot of fun. Everybody got to do something. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in the case of the guys that have never uh, um, shaped a neck before, I mean, it's a it's a little bit daunting. I'll be really honest with you. The pin router is a bit of a bear. Um, but I think the make, pin router is a teddy bear, man. <laughs> doing the doing the neck, doing the uh, the seven eighths roundover on this thing. Yeah. You actually, I, I actually customized the deadhead sander today, and you you videoed it. I did actually, and so, I, I will upload that to the alumni page. Um, I yeah. Which you know, if you come out here, um, you will get to uh, join the alumni page on Facebook and. Uh, That's a pretty it, neat page. It is, it's mostly actually, a bunch of pin routers for stuff. No, it's a lot of really it, it, good stuff. It's a lot of really interesting people uh, that you know are, are really into this stuff. Yeah. Actually, we should give a shout out to Dave because he ordered us uh, some chips. Oh, that's right. So, where are my chips? Bye. Where are my chips at? Thanks, Dave. Thank you, Sir Dave. David Dangerous sent us Zaps potato chips because yeah. he always does it. And 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 yeah, I'm like the UPS guy showed up today with a bunch of stuff, and I'm like, what's in here? And I knew what it was. Before I before I even opened it, it is he always sends us out a box of Zaps potato chips. So the the voodoo. There we are. The voodoo. Uh, oh, these are so good. Chips. Yeah, thank you so much, Dave. These are oh, oh man. Oh, you're broken. Hey, ah, oh, oh, you yeah. wrecked it. It's detachable at this point. So to uh, Sir David Dangerous, thank you for sending us the uh, the potato chips. We're all gonna gorge ourselves on potato chips here in a little bit. So, thank yeah. you, my friend. All right. Wait, did anybody even ask him? Or did he just sent him? Like he just sent him. No, he told me he was sending them. He said, "Don't tell anybody." Oh, I knew he. Well, I we we were like we were like I wonder if Dave's. Got, yeah, I I. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Doc. I'm up. I'll let the master go last. Ooh. Oh. oh. My name's on the door. The master That's exploder. Right. That's right. Hey, can someone? I could I could I trouble someone for another beverage? Here's We've life. got like 25 more minutes of, of live stream to go. And yeah. Wow. That's a nice bottle of, of uh, Patron for me to take home. The hey. <laughs> we'll see you at dinner. Hi, Matt. Hi. How are you, Brian? Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Are you guys headed out to the, the restaurant? We're going to go uh, 
uh, load up the smoker and uh, go to dinner. Okay, gang. See you in a while. How many people are we going to have at the steak joint tonight? There's going to be 20. Uh, Ike and Dylan are coming, and yeah, it's, and everybody here, and yeah. And who knows who else? It's going to be fun. Do they have a party room there? I don't know. <laughs> you about to find out. <laughs> yes. Hold on. Come come, come up and, and say it to the microphone, Doc. All right. Let's see. I'm going to come around. I'm going to sneak in on Brian. We've got, yeah. No, no, no. no. Keep, keep, get, we have, yeah, Don will come back. It's all right. Coming in between. So He's going to be lucky Pierre. I need to say hi, Paulina. Thank you for joining the chat. I, I'm really glad to see you here. I'm having a great time. Don't worry. I'm being good. We're keeping him. We're keeping him so well far, fed so and well watered. Listen, she's uh, she is moving to Toronto. She's oh. going to study neuroscience. Wow, and, uh, cool. Uh, getting into med school. So. Nice. Congratulations, Paula. Thank you, honey. Yep. My uh, <laughs> my wife was smart. Yes, she, was. <laughs> she must be the smart one. <laughs> All right, sir. What do you got happening here, Brian? Well, first, I want to say hi to somebody too because he's watching and I didn't know he knows. Hi, Mark. Get your ass back to Colorado and play bass with us. Buddy. Hi, Mark. Who's Mark? He was our bass player in our in our little family band. Oh, cool. Is that is he a relative or just a No, family? he's a really good friend. So, so such a close family he's friend kinda, that he might as well be a relative? Yeah, he's kind of Ben's brother, but not really. Okay. Yeah, that kind of thing. So it was cool, yeah. Eric anyway. And Kelsey are watching oh, hi, Eric and Kelsey. Got the whole fam family. Nice. Nice. I got a V. Dude, this looks way different than it did last it looks, uh, yesterday morning, wow. right? It doesn't look like a lightning bolt anymore. Yeah, it's cool, man. It's really coming along. We did a lot today. Ben and I were catching up to everybody today because of our different template issues. Uh, yeah, so we drilled all these holes. Got holes going inside and outside. Did the cavities in the back. It looks great, man. Um, did the, I'm kind of in the process here. Yep, we just we just got neck uh, a rough profile, and we'll work on that a little bit more yep. uh, mañana. Got the holes drilled for the dots. I haven't put it in the dots. Oh, yet. heck, yeah, okay. I wanted to show this, so. Hey, asked, what do you got there? I asked Dylan to uh, make me a custom pickup, and what it is, it's a Filtertron uh, in a but humbucker uh, size. So Check that, that could, out. So that I could stick with a, you know, a classic V set up and it's the most beautiful freaking thing i've ever seen in my life may i ask you yes did you do that because you liked the pickups we used in the billy boat class so much i liked them so much that i really only ever use filter trons wow okay yeah, cool I really i really like the sound of those pickups they're cool man dylan outstanding job thank you so much i appreciate it excellent yeah uh, so let's see. We put in frets today, and we did the almost everything we did today. Did we do the binding today? Or was that yeah, yesterday? a couple. Of, uh, it's all blurs together, like yeah. into one beating. Yeah. And uh, Ben and I were sanding like madmen back there. I took mine down to two twenty. I think you're at two two zero. Cool. So yeah, you were saying that you have a, you had, you had it easier because uh, lots of straights. Yeah, it's all yeah. Flat. Yep. Can use the well, the, not that pocket though. Yeah, but you know that's not that bad. You you can get in there with the, the spindle awesome. sander, yeah. the spindle sander, and that worked out pretty well. I think it looks great, I, man. I learned how to fix my. I'm not showing them where. I'm just okay. saying I did some things, and they're uh, you can I defy anybody to find them on here. I often say that I don't make guitars; I make mistakes and turn them into guitars, <laughs> and that's that's good. I like it. Yeah, so I couldn't be happier, man. Uh, I know this isn't the reveal, and I think last, the first class I took the reveal, the best thing was making the neck. Yeah. But honestly, the best thing is the camaraderie. The yeah, man. It's been so really cool. great to have everybody here. You're here with your son. Yep. And it's just, it's been a, a, a pretty terrific four days, and I'm glad it's almost over. <laughs> I, I, no, I, it's, it, it, it really is. It's very taxing. And you guys all know what I'm talking about. Um, and I'll go out and party with you and drink with you and kick it. And, and, but I don't want to ever see you guys in my shop ever again. No, <laughs> no, that's absolutely not true. He does. Mean you, for me, you, not for you. I know. I love all you guys. So not you, Doug, but yeah, everybody else. And, and, um, uh, <laughs> No, every, it, you guys, it, it really is a real thing. When you come out here, it's you meet a bunch of cool people and, and it's just a bunch of guys doing guy stuff. And we've had, we've had some ladies come out and, and, and they, they get in on it too. And sometimes they're even, even more uh, filthy than we are. I mean, you come in here and you 
are building guitars and talking about guitars. The only you don't play them till the end of the week. But yeah, it's all. I'm kind about of surprised no one. I mean, there's guitars, not like there's not man. there's guitars everywhere. You guys could rock out all day. I know, I know. I'm tempted, but I hate to screw up a brand new guitar. I might have to buy another one. There are work. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say anything because your wife's here, but yeah. Hey, Brian, how are you fixed for it? Yeah. I'm on a short leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And so I was thinking earlier, you may be cool, but you're not building a Texas Tusk guitar cool. That's right. You are not cooler than that. That's well, right. I, 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 I have had so much fun having all you guys out here and, and, some of you guys are, are returning and, and some of you guys I've seen, I've never met before. And it's really awesome to have everybody out here and just hang out with us. And, and it's one of my favorite things in the world to open the shop up to you, to, to, to everybody who comes out and show off, um, you know, what, what they can do. And it, it truly is remarkable. And, and some, some people, um, you know, kind of, kind of play, play their cards close to the vest and, and some people really go wild. And one of oh, I, 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 I'm sorry, but I know, have to. Uh, uh, Gary is you know, Gary's the number one man in my book. Gary is the number and, one uh, man, you know. So that hat has to be there. Um, you know, the reality is somebody told Hi, me. Doug. Uh, you know, this guy next to me said that my guitar was really going to sound sweet, so he <laughs> filled it with M and M's. <laughs> and I said, well, it's going to sound sweet because look. I got Dylan. Center oh, yeah, baby. There they are. Hey, you didn't do anything to these M&Ms, did you? No, they've just been sitting in my guitar all day I, since you poured them in there. I might I might get a surprise in a half hour. <laughs> so, yeah, we're putting the uh, Dylan center punches in these. I debated between the PAFs. Uh, I, it's a little harder to split them here, and I might put another switch in so I could split them. Um, but, uh, you know, everything Dylan's made is like, probably the best on the market i mean you can buy big names but they aren't better how how much fun is it to have dylan to like do the the pickup winding with dylan oh it's awesome right That's why i'm coming back out yeah when i can and uh you know he's coming out in november coming out in september and, and november september. yep and you know i'm so pissed off because september i've already got something i can't come so i told dylan and you uh -huh. it's like can i pay for the class and like you know just have a guitar well we haven't decided that could happen we'll yet. figure something out but uh but the reality is, is it's going to be a blast whoever comes out it's going to be a lot of yeah fun. man you know and, and if i was like brian uh, over here you know his wife would if if his wife was my wife uh, you know she'd divorce me um hey i'd come for every month you know <laughs> oh if you lived in town yeah if i live you know Doug, I mean, if, if like you lived in town minutes, i guess yeah Doug, if you lived yeah. in town and you only came once a month, I would I would feel hurt. Yeah, well, you know, if I lived in town, you guys would probably take my name off the door. I know I put so so every so often Doug gets out of control and I'm like, Doug, it says Texas Toast on the door. When it says Doug on the door, you can do whatever you want. And so today it says Doug on the door. Because so, I was yeah. a little impatient, you know. Actually, and I just like, thought it would be funny if I put which your is name my on the nature. Door. And uh, you know, he says when your name's on the door, then yep. you can decide. And I and he put my name on the door because he let me decide uh -huh. for you know a little while, not long. I'm gonna leave that but up. Anyway, there. I'm, I'm gonna that, this. that's that's gonna be on the door for the rest. Of, for I'm not, I'm never taking that off. But behind here, um, if you look at the back, oh look at that. Uh, There's M and M's falling out of your guitar. I actually cut. Uh, my cover plate out of this same material. That's rad, and dude. You can see it a little bit. I mean, I followed the grain really well. That's awesome. And inside that cavity, uh, I have a tradition that uh, when I come, everybody signs somewhere. Since this is going to be glued on, uh, I put it in here. Yeah. Everybody signed in here. It's including really neat. Steve. Oh, Steve did this too. Was, yeah. That's since this nice. Is, uh, Steve's templates did all of this. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because. Hey, I, so, I went above and beyond with the sanding because I kind of don't like sharp edges. I hear you. What do you think of, so you've been out here three, four, five times, yeah. and this is the first time everyone's used the Maximum Guitar Template. That That's a game changer, man. I, I'll tell you what, I'm building a shop at home, and, yeah. and there's no way I would try to build a guitar without them. You said something you know, today that, yeah, you you would you would. I only just wanna... I would screw up so bad. It was like every time I was trying to decide – the, the template made it easy. Yeah. You know, it made me go, oh, okay. 
that's why I have to do it this way yeah. to get where I want to get. And that's that's the kind of the important thing that we like to do is, I mean, I'm sure you could make a guitar stand on your head, but why don't do it the easy way? Well, I can't. You could. No, I, I could. But, yeah. you know, for me, I did cabinets. You know, cabinets aren't guitars. Yeah. You know, so um, it's just, you know, it's just an awesome thing. And, I, I, you know, I'm thankful that I'm able to come out. I, 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 I love that you come out all the time, Doug. And, and, and it's so great to have you as a patron saint of Texas Toast Guitars. And that's really what you are. So, yeah. So well, I look at it so the much. fact that, you know, if everybody who watches this channel could come out once, mm -hmm. you know, then everything stays alive. You know, it's yeah. like it, it, it literally, you know, to the point where, you know, I, I just, it's awesome. It's incredible. Yeah. So, and it, it really, you know, like, so, so, uh, Dave and you and, and doc and guys who come out so many times and, and they, they, they watch and, and Dave sends chips and, and, you know, it, it, it's a whole thing. And it really is like a fun, cool brotherhood of people doing neat stuff. And yeah, that's, that's, yeah. it's nothing to be taken lightly. That's yeah. for sure. That's, you come out when doc's here, you actually learn a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll fix your teeth for you. Yeah. But, I, you know, he gives you this candy, too. He buys the candy because, uh -huh. you know, he fills your teeth. Yeah, yeah. He's it's sort of like that guy who leaves nails all over the street. He works at the tire shop. Yeah. yeah. No, but anyway, uh, you know, I'm going to get out of here. But, you so know. So I have a, I've got a couple questions for you. All right. First of all, what are you going to order and have Chris make at the Upright Lounge tonight? Uh, squirrel. Well, I've been drinking a little bit of vodka already. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm not already slurring my words. Come on, man. Um, but it's going to be something with vodka, and I, and I'm going to actually Google it so that I can try to confound him. Right, so it's it stump the lousy bartender. I want to stump <laughs> nothing. <laughs> and then he's going to hand it to me and say, "That's how we make it. That's here. how we make it the upright baby." And as long as it has that vodka in there, may or may not be fine. I'm going to be, yeah. be fine. Yeah, you know. And it's like, you know, we have we have guys that it's like they're all family, you know. Mm -hmm. And to see Jimmy today, it's like, you know, breaks just blows my heart away yeah you know, it's it's, like, it's really I'm cool so too. happy yeah know, he's doing well oh he, yeah it's it's great to have jim feeling better and it's great to hang out with jim and leslie and it's remarkable that they invite us all over to their house so yeah he's so, such a host man it's yep. incredible yeah and you know everybody get a chance to come out man whatever you got to do come out do it at least once in your life you know it's it's a cool it's a super super cool thing yeah, yeah. So, and you can, and you can make something really, really neat. Yep. And then, uh, you know, Dylan makes some of the best, you know, I was, I was worried. How am I going to figure out where I put it? I look at the back and it says right on it. He tells you. Yeah. yeah. Neck. Yeah. Neck. <laughs> it says right on it. Oh yeah. That's where this one goes. Duh. Well, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. Doug, thank you guys. Thank you everybody for, for hanging out with us. And uh, we've got just a few more minutes. Uh, I was, we were supposed to have a Q and a, I don't know if there's any cues that we can a, but, um, uh, uh, as, as, is anybody, is there any question or is it just people going, Hey everybody, how you doing? I, I don't know. So, um, Lee wants to know, are there any spots available for September with Dylan? Yes, Lee, there are spots. If you want to come on up, Chris, Lee, if you want to get in, um, uh, and, and build a guitar, the, um, uh, the, the, the name of the uh, the workshop is was originally Build the Batfish with Dylan, and we changed it to Ultimate Guitar Building with Dylan. So um, you get all the neat Gucci stuff, and you get to wine pickups with Dylan. And we, what what else are we doing in that in that workshop? Because we paint. Yep, paint. Um, yeah, assembly. Yeah, e everything. Really. So you walk. Yes, and you don't have to have any. You don't have to have any stuff. Um, right. you, you get a bunch of neat things and yeah, it's top end stuff. These it really is. Have, have uh, uh, mahogany bits in them. It's a new M&M. &M. It's a mahogany M&M. Yeah. &M. I had the caramel ones. Now I'm going to have the mahogany M&Ms. Yep. Some of these have W's on them. So Lee, if you want to get in on the September workshop, there are spaces available. Please, uh, sign up and we would love to have great. you. Yeah. 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 That's going to so, be a really fun class. It is going to be. So you get a, a buttload of hip shot stuff. You get like an awesome uh, uh, Gucci neck from from Steve at Maximum yeah. Guitar Works. Uh -huh. Like, what is it? Like a roasted maha a roasted maple and 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 wangi wangi uh, uh, wangi. I, I somebody said I was mispronouncing that. I don't care. Wenge. I I looked it up and wangi. 
every pronunciation somebody Wang. says is correct. Yeah. Wang. 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 I like Wenge, but um Gay. Wenge. 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 And it's good Wenge. for muscles. It gets yeah. you gets you going. Um, so yeah, roasted maple, Wenge neck, um, carbon fiber rods, stainless steel wheel adjust truss rod, uh -huh. yeah. total Gucci everything, uh, -huh. uh swamp ash body. You get to do all the paint work. You get to wind the pickups, hip shot hardware, everything. Everything's included. And yeah, it's, it's a super, super cool deal. Yep. It really is. Yeah. So Lee, come on out. Um, uh, Rot box, that Jim Jam Jimmy shirt should be made available on the TT site. You know, that's not a bad idea. Who had a Jim Jam Jimmy shirt on? Me. Oh, Jaime. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doug. I mean, yeah. Um, uh, save me an hey, XL. Jim Jam Jimmy because I got to have a shirt on. Uh, Paul M. Hall says, when I come out to build a classic fender, can I get a paddle head stack? You better believe you can, Paul. You sure can. Um, ain't no thing. So, uh, you, when you come to the build a classic fender, you can specify whatever woods you want for the neck. You can do pretty much anything you want. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if you want the wood, sweat and beers, uh, headstock, we can make that available to you. If you want a paddle, that's fine too. So. Why wouldn't you want the wood, sweat, and beers one? I guess if you have like maybe he maybe he has his own headstock shape that he really likes and he's worked on it and he wants to do that. Yeah, one. yeah, <laughs> that one. Yeah. So yeah, but but the wood, sweat, and beers headstock looks good. If so, if you like, eh, yeah, I like this one. Let's do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's not just a guitar; it's a commemorative uh, piece. It's a way of life. Oh yeah, and on the back of the headstock, it says like your yeah. it has your it has name your name on it. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that you know why that is? Why? So if we ever see it on reverb. We can uh, chase down the guy and go. Yeah. What the hell, man? What the hell, man? Yeah. Why are you selling your guitar? Or why did you? Who did you steal this from? Don't be a jerk. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's the ultimate serial number. Your name. Your name. That's right. Yeah. Well, could we get social security number on for Absolutely. inlay? How yeah. rad would that yeah. be? Yeah. One of my favorite things is that's the way. You, that's what people used to put on their stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As identification. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That's true. Brilliant. Well, back there was a, it was a different time. It was, yeah. Uh huh. Um, um, yeah. So, um, so guys, I, man, I, I've seen this twice in the last two seconds. What? Who, me looking at my watch? No. Everybody else. There. Yeah. We're hungry. Yeah, they I would are. say, I would yeah. say, let's let's get on the road to. Yeah. Um, um, you got text your oh you got a text from your mother on your watch. Oh well, hi, Mrs. Silton in. I didn't want it. Yeah, I guess I guess that would make sense. I'm sorry. Yeah. And I don't I can't pronounce your we name. We don't know Doc. which mother it is. Oh, Who's my it's hard to say. Hi, yeah. hi, hi, Doc. Hi, Mrs. Doc's mom. Mrs. Epstein's mother. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. So I Juan's mother. Hello, Mrs. Silton. It's nice to have you here. And uh we will try to be on our best behavior, not Chris. So um yeah, how many MMs do you think you can shove up your nose in the next 10 minutes? <laughs> None. You're not even trying. I'll do it. So if I if I shove one up, then I'm a I'm a you're an overachiever yeah, winner. Yeah. It's sweet. Let's get out of here and get over to the uh, the Saltgrass Steakhouse in Westminster, mm -hmm. and uh, let's let Leslie and Dylan from uh, Dylan Talks Tone and uh, the uh, what is it Guitars and Mascara or no? Nope, it's nope. the Dylan and Leslie is their second the, channel. Oh, it's oh they used to have a different one. They, uh, they, they just changed the name of it to what Dylan and Leslie? Yeah. So let's let let's let them take it from here. We've got to get some serious food and some serious drink. And um, yeah, I feel great. I feel like a hundred dollars. Good. Yeah. You look you look good too. I feel good. Good. All right, everybody. Um, well, this is Matt from Texas Toast reminding you that life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. I would like to thank all of our sponsors. <clears throat> Ike and the gang from Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. This is not like a code for anything. I just have an itchy ear. Ike and the gang from Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. I know they would love to see you at the Legacy Shop for the next little while before they move into the Destination Shop, which is going to be excellent. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to thank Steve at Maximum Guitar Works for providing all of our templates that we use and putting up with me. I, I give Steve a heart. I, I ride roughshod on Steve. I'm like, hey, Steve, make this. Okay. And I think Steve gets like one hour of sleep a week because of all the stuff he's doing for me. Um, I'd also like to thank um, 
um, um, John and Cheryl at Bitterroot Guitars. Uh, did you know John bought one of our recession specials I and did? he loves it? Does he? Good. Yeah. Glad to hear it. I am not going to tell you about. Uh, I'd like to thank Thin Lizzy. Is that what? But I'm. Uh, I have a recession oh, that's right. Brian has a recession special. Um, um, okay, hold on. <laughs> um, uh, John and so John bought a uh, a recession special from us, and I don't want to spill the beans, but I want to say that Steve and John are talking about some stuff. That's all I'm going to say. This is also not code. I just have an itchy ear. Um, I'd like to thank Dan and Calvin at Guitar Tonewood Experts who send us all of the lumber that we use for this build workshop came from Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts. It's just, just buy it from them. Okay. It's, it's, it's the way to go. I, I can't, I don't even know how I can explain it. Just get the stuff from them. If you use code, uh, Texas toast 15, you save 15%. If you, um, use the code in the link in the description below and you buy Dylan pickups from us, you save a little bit and we even get a little taste. Um, so if you want some of the greatest pickups that you can buy, made by the actual guy, can you can you expound on that for a little bit, Chris? Because I want to drink. <laughs> You're doing good, man. You're doing good. Holy crap! What? Come on, keep going, keep cruising, um, dude. So when you order pickups from Dylan, Dylan's the guy that winds them. It's it's not somebody else. It's it's Dylan, and and that's really cool. That's incredible, right? It is really cool. Yeah. I mean, because like Seymour Duncan doesn't wine pickups. No, not anymore. Not for you. Yeah, not not yeah. not any time recently. Yeah. Yeah. So so it's 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 a truly uh it's a one man operation. Yeah. And yeah, he put him in the box, he sent the box, he made the label for the box, he wound yeah. the pickups, he ordered the stuff to make the pickups. You you get it all, it's yeah. All Dylan. I think that's a really neat thing. And actually, you you actually yes. you actually kind of kind of started talking about that yeah, one day. And yeah. I think it's a really neat thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so when you love the pickups, it's all Dylan. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And yeah. that's a really, really neat thing. One day it might be something where Dylan doesn't wind them anymore. And it's uh, a crew of people. I don't yeah. know. And, I guess and we'll then see. live off the legacy of, of when he did all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you bought, if you buy that's now, you can get, you can get a really cool thing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lawler. Chris, I love you more and more every day. Um, I would also like to thank John and Cheryl at Bitterroot Guitars. I already do we that already, one. We, yes. I'd also like to thank um, all Bitterroot Guitars guys. If you use code, uh -huh. if you use code TXTOAST at checkout, you save money. Um, uh, what about Chris and Dina from Odyssey Beer Works? The great American Beer Works. Um, I saw Chris and Dina last night, and they are interested in another Texas Toast beer. Yes. What do you think about that? I think that's a great idea. I do too. Uh, what do you want it to taste like? Uh, beer. <laughs> Good idea. You want hey, candy hey, flavor? Hey, yeah. Beat no. these gallon cans, you know. Gallon Fosters. cans? Yeah. The Fosters. The Fosters. Oh, yeah. you want to do a giant Fosters, can? Yeah. Beat that. Beat, beat that. that. You beat that. 26 ounce beers? Yep. Okay. It would probably be pretty cool. But yeah, if we can't, but at least... They'll send you a growler. Is that what they call it? Sure. A growner? Mm -hmm. A grounder. Seven string multi-scale. Seven string yeah. multi-scale is what we're going to call it. What's that? Right. Oh, and of course, um, um, uh, Nigel Forstner, who is uh, who has a great um, uh, online, or let's, it's like, it's like an e-book. And he's constantly adding to it. It's how to make money in a woodworking business, not just guitars, but in uh, in the woodworking world. And if you order that, um, I get a little taste of that, too. So thank you to Nigel. Um, we haven't used his fret thing this week because we just plum ran out of time. Nope. So, so, and if you want one of these stickers, you got to come to the workshop. Okay. So, everybody, we're going to get the hell out of here, and we're going to go get our, our vittle on and get our swerve on at uh -huh. the Upright Lounge. Uh -huh. We're going to let Dylan and Leslie take it home tonight. Uh -huh. So thanks for watching, everybody. We will see you tomorrow for the big reveal. Take care, everyone. Oh.